Okay, so it's the weekend cooking, and um, this is going to be almost like, um, you know how you sometimes make cabbage roll, but you don't roll them and you put them all in a pot and boil it, but I'm going to use cauliflower instead of the cabbage. So, first thing, we got some olive oil. So we put a little bit in your slow cooker crock pot. I'm going to cook this slow for six hours. Then I got some bowls, some teal bowls. So put it in a bowl, put some um, grated cheese, and then I got, and this will be tonight when LaFonda gets off work. And I got some of the Texas toast and it's garlic. Parmesan. Garlic parmesan. Now toast that in the oven. See? There's 16 six slices, so we'll have that with it. That's going to taste good. So, I put... I did do some prep. Okay, so I got the mystery meat. Five bucks. And it's uh, medium ground. So, we need the mystery meat, right? Ground beef. I'll wash the scissors off after in case I need need them for something. So everything's going to be in big chunks because I'm cooking it on low for six hours, and it'll all break down, right? So you could do this with turkey too. You can get the turkey ground up, but I'm making big pieces. I'm just going to break it up in big pieces like that. Break it up. Can you see? Breaking it up in big pieces. I didn't put the stove light on. I don't, I think it'd be too bright. So, I got the ground beef broken up. A little bit, not too big, but not too small either. Okay, so we got the ground beef in there. And it's okay to put it in raw because it's going to be cooking. Like I said, for six hours. Okay, so put that in the garbage and wash my hands. Wash my hands over here. And clean my scissors. I might need them for something. So, got the ground beef, right? Okay, now this over here. So I got onion about that size. So I'm just going to slice it up. Everything's going to be chopped up pretty big. Pretty big, pretty big. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see how good. So I'm going to chop it up pretty big. Slice it. Slice it. So this was a big one, about a quarter of a big one, so you could put half of a, or a small one, whatever you want to do. I don't measure nothing, it's how much onion you want. So I'm going to put about that much onion over on top. Okay. Then I got a, just a tiny pepper. Now, you ain't going to have pepper if it's cooked really, really good. It won't bother your stomach. It must take out the acid or whatever it does. But he can have peppers if it's cooked really for a long time. He just can't have raw pepper. So, they don't seem to bother him. He had peppers before, see, and bugged him. But they could have been the green ones, too. I find the green ones. I don't know. They're too strong. They bother my stomach too, so the red and the uh, orange and the yellow, I, I just decided to get orange because I was looking for a real tiny one, right? And they only had tiny in the orange. I didn't want a big one. Usually you don't put peppers in the, uh, when you make a, a cabbage rolls, but... This is sort of like it, sort of. Okay, so we got the peppers, then I got three garlic. Three garlic. 
tree garlic. See, can be cut big. I don't even have to use this really. So it's going to be broken down. It's going to be cooking for quite a while. Oh, oh, shoot! My hands are so great. But I'm also break it down a little bit. Give it some help. So there's the garlic. Okay, rinse that off. What I'm gonna do now, rinse that off and there we go. Put this here. Put that up there. Now, I like to put the spices, so I'm going to make it a little hot. I'm going to use some crushed chili. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Just to make it a little hot. Now, put your salt. And your pepper. Now, the cauliflower. I kind of made them this size. I used the whole cauliflower, so, but that's quite big, so what I'm going to do is break them down into two, so, so probably about that size, put them in, put them in, let's see here, break this one down into two, I had them too big. There, like that. Okay, that one's good. And that one's good. Okay, let's see. Let's break this one down into two. Okay, I don't want those little pieces. So break that into two. Let's see here. Well, I don't want them too big. Break up this one into two. Okay. Break this one into two. Okay. Well, we can't see, but break that into two. Hope that size right. And that should be enough. Well, let's see here. Okay. So about that much. Make a little bit left over. Good. So I've got that much left over. So I've got about this much cauliflower. Now, what I'm going to use, I got diced tomatoes that's been peeled and whatever. So diced tomatoes. a spaghetti sauce from what was it Friday Thursday when I made that spaghetti right I'm gonna put a little bit of water I'm gonna put more water after of course so I did this half okay Rinse that off after then I got tomato paste Tomato paste. I'm only going to use not the whole can, but about that much. So there's 
the tomato paste. Now, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. What I wanted to do now is jasmine rice. I like jasmine. I know this is open. So I opened it one. So I'm gonna put about a cup. A cup of it. Now, what I have beef, beef broth. If you got broth, whatever you have, this is the one from uh, the Hello Fresh. So I'm going to put it in, put it in this. So that's beef broth from the Hello Fresh. Do the water to a cup. A cup of beef broth with water. The beef broth. Got to make sure there's enough water, and then you're gonna stir it around. After about three hours of cooking, you're gonna open it up and stir it around a little bit. Just like I'm gonna put more water if I can. I'm going to fill it right up. Yeah. Then halfway through cooking, I'm going to take this and just mix it up. And if I need more water, I'll put more water in it. I always put a little bit of salt on top. A little bit more pepper. Let's see if I can poke some more holes in it. See if I can get more water. But it's going down. The water's going down now, right? The water's going down. I know I need more water than that. But it's going to thicken up with all that paste. Okay. I'm putting cold water in it. Let's see. Put some more. Cauliflower too with all the starch. That should be good. I wouldn't put any more than that in there. And then halfway through, like I said, so I'm going to put the cough pot, plug it in, plug it in, and put it on low. And that should be good. That's quite filled, but. Halfway, I'll definitely going to stir it all up after three hours, round 12. I might do a second part videotape, see what it looks like in three hours. I'll probably do another one and put it all together just to show you, right? That's what I'll do. So I'm going to put it over here in the crock pot and put the cover on it and I'll turn you guys around. Let's see if I can turn you guys around without, uh, without dropping this. Let's see here. So there we go. And then in the Put the speaker over here. Won't need. Ah, there's a speaker. So I'll let that cook. And 
it's not touching nothing. And I'll keep this over here. I'll just put it in here. And then in, in three hours, I get it on all. I'll just move, mix it, and if it needs more water, I'll put a little bit more water. But it should be okay. We put, we got quite a bit of water in it. I just want it, don't want it too thick. So the cup, I'll wash this cup. I have the cup ready too. Put water in it. I might have to put another cup of water. So I've got the cup ready and I've got the spoon ready. Right? And then I'll do a second part just to show you what it's going to look like in three hours, right? So anyway. So. And, uh, at one o'clock, I got the cake mix. I got the cherry. This is the one that you actually see. Betty Crocker. You actually put a cup of water or milk. I put canned milk. I put half and half. One third cup of oil and three eggs. And it's the cherry. That's the one that she likes. And then I got, uh, the cream cheese icing to put on it and I got it at Walmart not no frills and I picked up some of these and then I got another mixing cup pour it and then pour it in it so I'll do a second part after three hours around 12 when I come back from Canadian Tire I'll move I'll mix it because I'm going to Canadian Tire around 12. So when I come back, I'll mix it up and I'll film it. How's that? So I'll see you in a bit. And then I'll do that and then me and Leah will be uh, filming. Because she's going to the movies at 3. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's been 3 hours. So... I said I was going to stir it. It's not going to be ready for another three hours, but I just want to make sure that there's enough, uh, enough juice. I don't want it because the rice is going to thicken it and the cauliflower. And so it looks like there's enough juice. I don't think I have to add any more. There's enough. There's enough water. Yeah. Let's see how... I wouldn't add any more, so it won't be cooked for another three hours. This is half, uh, so you can see it, see, there's enough. I don't have to add any more, but what I do want to do, what I do want to do, and Leah's going to be over in about an hour, and we're going to do the, I'm just putting that in there, but what I want to do, before I do anything, I want to taste and make sure it's... Oh yeah. Definitely sp spicy enough, so... It's a little kick to it. So that's it. So I'll, I'll film in another three hours. And see you in a bit. Okay, so for the crock pot. This here... It's thick enough. I don't have to put any water. And it's cooking. So this is about four hours. Four and a half hours. So then I'll put it on a in a bowl. I'll put some shredded cheese and uh, have it with that toast. Parmesan garlic bread. Texas toast. I'll put it in the oven and toast it. So, so that's that. So that's cooking good. So we'll see you later. Okay, so LaFonda's going to be home pretty soon. And I'm going to put the, uh, that cauliflower thing in a bowl. I'm going to do mine so that I can make a, uh, a thumbnail. So I'm just putting some in a bowl here. I'll put some in a 
some in their bowl, all three, let it melt. There. So there's that one. And then my toast. I'm going to cut that in two. What I'm probably going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Probably. And I'll share it. I'll put it in the middle. I'll put this in the center and set our So that's it. And I'll wait until Leah comes back and we'll do the third part of the, I put the muffins. They're over there. I'll let her put the icing on it. So I'm going to do all our bowls. So when she comes back, that'll be. So there, I'm going to put that and do a thumbnail and I don't know if we're going to record eating or not. I'll see. Anyway, so I'm not going to see you guys tomorrow morning, but look for me and Leah's cupcakes. That'll be the third part. I did first part, her doing it, me taking it out of the oven and her icing, and I did this in a couple parts. So, see you next time.